Yeehaw. Hmm. Lesson 82, Greatest Common Factor. You'll find this on page 431 in your textbook. So uh, what we're looking at today is finding the greatest common factor between two numbers. Um, as a reminder, a factor is a number when multiplied by another number. It gives you the answer to a multiplication problem. You know, so two. <coughs> Fine. Fine. Keep on going. <laughs> two times four equals eight. Two and four are factors of eight, okay? So what we look for is we take two numbers, such as eight and 20, and we, can, we list all the factors of each number. So for eight, we have one, two, four, and eight. For 20, we have one, two, four, five, 10 and 20. We then look to see which number is the highest that they have in common, and we see that that is four. So the greatest common factor for eight and 20 equals four. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, we can turn the page. And um, the, the example number two says use the greatest common factor of eight and 20, which we learned was four, to reduce the fraction eight over 20. Since we already figured out that the greatest common factor is four, we will now divide this fraction by four over four, okay? And first, we'll start with the denominators. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. And 8 divided by 4 equals 2. So we were able to reduce 8 over 20 to 2 fifths.